Hello students. Today, as we are studying, we are studying protoplast. We will going to start polysaccharide and carbohydrate. So today we will study polysaccharides. As by the last chapter class, we have completed oligosaccharide. Now the next last category of carbohydrate is polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are complex carbohydrate which are formed by condensation of condensation and polymerization of 11 to 1000 monosaccharide monosaccharide units the journal formula for polysaccharide is C6H12O5 whole N. Next, they are tasteless and soluble in water. Next, there are two types of polysaccharides. There are two types of polysaccharides. On the basis of composition. These two types are homopolysaccharide homopolysaccharide and heteropolysaccharide. Homopolysaccharide, as the name suggests, they are made up of only one type of monomer. Next, heteropolysaccharide, they are made up of different type of, for example, in the case of homopolysaccharide, these are starch, cellulose, glycogen and insulin. These are the example of homopolysaccharide as they made up of single sugar monomer unit. An example of heteropolysaccharide are chitin, agar, hemicellulose and pectin. These are also polysaccharide but having more than one sugar molecules. Now we will discuss first some homopolysaccharide, some important Homo polysaccharides. First is the most common starch. Starch. It is for primarily a reserve food in plants. Next, it is also called emula and is made up of glucose. It consists of two components. These components are first is amylose and next is amylopectin. Amylo is soluble in water while amylopectin is insoluble in water. Next is homopolysaccharide is glycogen. Glycogen 
it is a reserve food in animals comma bacteria and fungi next it is stored in muscles and liver next it gives red color with iodine when well, as we all know the starch give blue black color with iodine give blue black color with iodine these are the confirmatory test for the polysaccharides whether they are present or not next is next is inulin inulin it is a linear polymer of fructose with beta 14 bond next it is found in it is the richest source root of dahlia next it is not metabolized in human body and filtered filtered through kidney next so it is used for testing kidney function kidney functions next is cellulose 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 is the component of plant cell wall it is absent in animals in plant cell in plant cell it provide in plant cell it provides shape and rigidity to the cell so this is all about the home polysaccharide now we will discuss some important hetero polysaccharides the first one is hemicellulose 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 is a, it is the mixture of polysaccharides xylenes galactanes comma glucomannanes and rb galactanes and next is it is found in plant cell wall along with cellulose next is chitin chitin is the second abundant organic compound in nature next 
it is presenting exoskeleton of orthopoda and cell wall of fungi next monomer of chitin is not glucose but nitrogen containing glucose derivative known as n acetyl glucosamine is third is hyaluronic hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid it is found in skin comma vitreous humor of eye comma umbilical cord next it is a linear polymer of disaccharide repeat link with beta 14 glycosidic bond next is agar it is a polysaccharide found in q lg for example gelidium glycerilia glycerilia these are the red algae next they are made up of sulfate galactose galactose next it is a important in tissue culture medium this is all about the polysaccharides thank you